show you start up on your generator or generate generators. So first, you got it plugged in. Gonna have this switch off. Gonna have this switch off. Gonna have the gas on. Of course, I've got it hooked up to a live propane tank. You want to make sure this gas valve is open. Everything is good and secure connection. Then we'll have this gas valve on. And it's gonna be running in a line, meaning it's on, same thing here. So with that being done, simply start. This is your 12 volt light switch. This 12 volt light switch controls this 12 volt light. This light will only work when your truck or vehicle is hooked up and you have your headlights on and you come in and you need to power up the unit, you just come cut this switch on. You got your AC control. goes one way. You can turn it on and off. And then you've got your temperature control here. Alright, so you got your ice machine, you got your shutoff valve for your drain. And then on this side you have your shutoff valve for your water supply. tested this unit and it does make ice. Things function properly. You have a control button, your ice brake, and then your scoop. Get your tea kettle and what's happening? All you need is you need to carry a wrench with you can disconnect this and remove this base and put it down for transport. Just make sure that that water line is shut off like it is right now. If it's running in line with the, the water line, it's on. If it's running opposite of the water line, it's off. So you want to make sure it's off. Again, simply carry a wrench, disconnect this one or this one, either one, and remove the machine. There's no safe way of bracketing this down without possibly damaging the machine. This coffee grinder, simply pick it up and you can carry it. You can lay everything on the floor if need be, or you can put them in the sinks. This is fastened down. Does have water line connection and it is hardwired in. Your fridge, you got mounted right here. You got you plenty of storage space over here. You got your hand wash sink. Silver key right here is for your city water fill box. That's so you can fill your fresh water tank. Fresh water tank being located here. The fill box is on the outside. We have 100 amp panel located here. And we have 100 amp panel located back there. It's a tight little spot to get into. Got your two and a half 
gallon water heater. Also, you have your blowout valve located here. This is for winterizing. You would want to turn this into the on position as it is, and you can see water will flow out right now as it's on. This is for draining the tank. Drain that, and you're draining to underneath the trailer. Again, it's in the off position. That is your main shutoff to cut the power off to the tank. Your water heater, or your water pump is located right there. You can unplug your water heater, then you can unplug your water pump right there. sections on both sides are all in the down position just as they are you've got a clip here and you've got a clip here you pull them inward on both sides and raise the window up there is a screen in the middle of both of those your flip up counter simply go to the middle press up And it'll rotate down, just as you see it. Press up again, and it's back up. turn the generators off also key switch off remove the key take it with you key switch off remove the key take it with you another good thing to do is flip both breakers off as well and that is how you properly turn off your generators please do not hesitate to give me a call if you have any questions I'm here for assistance I'll help any way I can also, this is your city water fill box. This is where you'll fill your fresh water tank. Fresh water tank inlet is on this side. City water fill pressurized water line is what this is. It would be filling right here. You can run, this flap will move out of the way and you can have your garden hose coming out.
Your waste drain valve is located here. That's for your 50 gallon waste tank. You hook your hose up to here. After you remove this cap, pull the lever and it will flow. We say thank you for your business. Appreciate your patience. Look forward to hearing from you soon.